Hello friends from this video tutorial, we are going to learn live table add edit delete MySQL table data in Laravel framework by using Ajax jQuery. We have already published many video tutorial on live table CRUD operation, but there are many viewers has requests us to make video tutorial on live table CRUD in Laravel using Ajax. So from here we have start how to can we inline create new records, edit and delete existing records by using Ajax in Laravel. Laravel is a robust PHP framework, and if we have use Ajax with Laravel framework, then it will increase performance, and speed of your application. This is a first part of this tutorial series, and in this part we will see how to fetch data from MySQL table, and display on web page in editable table. Now let's start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database, and here we have one sample table, from this table we will fetch data, and display on web page. This is our Laravel working folder, here first we want to make database connection, so we have go to config folder, and under this we have open database.php. Under this file we have to define MYSQL database connection property like host set to local host, database name set to testing, user name set to root, and password set to blank. After for making database connection here we have open.env file. And here also we have defined MYSQL database connection property like host set to local host, database name set to testing, username set to root, and password set to blank. Here we have already make live table controller under app slash http slash controllers folder. So we have opened this controller file, and here we have write use statement with database, it is used for do most database operations in our Laravel application. Under this first we have write function index, this function has been called if we have directly called base url slash live table in browser, then this method has been called. Under this method we have write return statement with view method, under this method we have write live table. This method will load this live table view file, which we have already make under resources slash views folder, so we have open this file. Under this file, we have already included javascript, and bootstrap library. Under this file, first we have make one table with three column like first name, last name, and delete. Under this table we will sample table data using Ajax. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have make fetch data function. This function will fetch data from MYSQL table and display on web page in table format. Under this function we have start write ajax request, under this first option we have write url set to slash live table controller, slash, fetch data method. Here we have send request to fetch data method of live table controller. In second option we have write data type, in this option we can define in which data format we have to receive data, so here we have defined JSON data type. 
Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data. Code of this function we will discuss later, now we have go to live table controller, and make fetch data method with request argument. This method will receive Ajax request, for this here we have write if statement, and under condition we have write dollar request variable with Ajax method. If this method received Ajax request then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar data variable is equal to database class, with table method, under this method we have write sample table name. This method we will return select star from sample query. After this we have write order by method with two argument like ID and descending order. This method will add order by clause in select query. Lastly we have write get method. This method will execute select query and query execution data will be stored under this dollar data variable. After this we have write echo statement with JSON and code function, under this function we have write dollar data variable, this function will convert data into JSON format, and send to Ajax request. Now we have go to live table.blade.php view file, and here in success function we have define HTML variable with blank value. Below this we have write HTML variable, and under this variable we have append code like open table row tag. After this we have again write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like table data tag with content editable attribute. By using attribute we can edit content of this table column. After this we have write ID attribute is equal to first name. We will use this ID attribute as selector in jQuery code. And close table data tag. Under this table column user can fill first name details, for add new data. Same way for enter second name details, for this here we have write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like table data tag with content editable attribute. ID is equal to last name. Under this table column user can enter last name details. For insert new data, we have to create button, so here we have write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like table data tag. Under this tag we have write button type is equal to button, ID is equal to add, this ID value we will use as selector in jQuery code, so this is first table row code for add new records. For print existing MySQL data, here we have write for loop, and under condition we have write count variable is equal to zero, count variable value less than data dot length value and count variable value increment by 1, so on every interval it will append data under this HTML variable in table format. Under this loop we have write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like open table row tag. After this we have again write HTML variable, and in this variable, we have append HTML code like table data tag with attribute is equal to content editable attribute. 
class is equal to column name, and data column name is equal to first name, data id attribute is equal to data with count index dot id table column name. And in text we have write data variable with count index dot first name, so here it will print first name details, here this class will be used as selector under jQuery code, and in that code we will fetch value from this data attribute. Same way for last name details, here we have again write HTML variable, and in this variable, we have append HTML code like table data tag with attribute is equal to content editable attribute. Class is equal to column name, and data column name is equal to last name, data ID attribute is equal to data with count index dot ID table column name. And in text we have write data variable with count index dot last name, so here it will print last name details, here this class will be used as selector under jQuery code, and in that code we will fetch value from this data attribute. In last table column, we have to make delete button for each row. So here we have write HTML variable, and in this variable we have append HTML code like, table data tag. Under this tag we have write, button type is equal to button, class is equal to delete, id is equal to data variable with count index dot id table column name. And in button text we have write delete, here this delete class will be used as selector under jQuery code, and by click on this button, it will remove particular row of data. Once all data has been stored under this HTML variable, now we have write dollar with table body tag with HTML method, and under this method we have write HTML variable, this code will display data on web page in table format. Now we have called this function, so when page has been load into browser, then this function has been called, and it will display sample table data on web page. Lastly we have to set root for fetch data method, so we have to go to web.php file of roots folder. And here we have write root class with get method. Under this method we have write slash live table URL. And in second argument we have write live table controller at the rate index method. This code will set root for index method of live table controller. So when in browser, we have enter base url slash live table controller, then it will called index method of live table controller. Below this we have write root class with get method, under this method in first argument we have write slash live table slash fetch data, and in second argument. We have write live table controller at the rate fetch data, so when this URL received get request, then it will called fetch data method of live table controller. Now we have check output in browser. Friends here in browser, we have enter base URL slash live table controller. Then on web page we can see, sample table data in HTML table format.
in table first row is blank, this is for enter new data by click on this green button, below this row we can see data with delete button, by click on this button, it will delete data. Here all table column has been editable, so we can edit any row table column data can be edited. Now in next part we will discuss how to insert new data from this live table in Laravel using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query or input in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.